So I'm a mom of three, a homeschooler, a homesteader, and we run two home businesses. A lot of people ask me how on earth I get it all done in a day and I'm ready to dish my secrets or not so secrets in today's video. Is the cat sneezing? Yes, it's looking it's, at that bird nest and then sneezing. It's looking at the bird nest and sneezing. Okay, so I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing more of a vlog style video because I'm getting a ton of questions lately about how we manage our life. And I get it because from outward appearances, it's a lot. And well, from inward appearances, it is a lot too. So we have a lot going on. We have three kids, we homeschool, we have our homestead, we have cattle, we run the blog, the Prairie Homestead, we have a thriving doTERRA business. It's a lot. So last week on my Facebook page, I had someone ask if our life was real or if it was just imagined. And I have to say that it is 100% real, very much not a figment of my imagination. And we've been living this lifestyle in various forms and iterations for the last 10 years. And it's been something that has really morphed over time. We've kind of figured out a method to the madness or what I'd like to call organized chaos. And so what I tell people, first and foremost is I don't do everything. I don't care what it looks like online. Anyone who knows me in person, I don't do everything and I don't even pretend to do everything. I'm very, very selective with what I say yes to in my life, which means I say no a lot, which means that sometimes people get annoyed with me, but I know my limits and I know my goals and I'm very much a goal driven person. And so if something doesn't further a goal, I usually say no. And there are exceptions of course, but that's my personal rule, which I think that in and of itself goes a long way in helping us get everything done that needs to be done. We don't do a lot of social activities. I don't do a lot of play dates in town. And I suppose that's a little bit of a sacrifice for having the life that we do. We are far from town. It's a big deal to get to town. It's not something that we can run here and there every single day doing a different activity. And that's something that we've purposely chosen living as far out as we do. And we're okay with that, but that does help keep our schedule a little bit clearer to focus on homesteading and home business and homeschool. So I think one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that balance is really a myth. And I, that might be shocking to some people because we hear it a lot. I need to stay balanced. I want my life to be balanced, balance, balance, balance. And I get it. It's an, it's an elusive tantalizing idea, but I think that life often comes in seasons and seasons aren't about balance. And we can see that in nature, whether it's uh, the actual change of seasons or it's things like food production, right? There's a time of year when we have a ton of eggs and then we have no eggs. And there's a time of year when we have a ton of vegetables and then we have no vegetables. And so I think this idea of perfectly balanced compartments at every phase of our life isn't really something that's attainable. And so I've found that being okay with a little bit of imbalance at times is really what keeps me sane. You know, there are times in our life where we focus heavily on outdoor projects and that gets the bulk of our attention. And there are times in our life when we focus heavily on one of our businesses and that gets the bulk of our attention. And being able to chunk our time throughout the last 10 years and really focus on one thing at a time, well, you have to keep the other balls up in the air in the background, but giving the bulk of our resources to one thing at a time has allowed us to build what we have in layers, whether it's the businesses or the homestead or our homeschooling plan even. And that's been really, really crucial. Another principle that I really follow is keeping things basic. And so sometimes I think people might assume that we have a five acre garden or I put up 500 jars of produce every year with my canner or that we're milking 10 cows at a time and we don't. Everything we do, you know, we're dabbling in all these areas of homesteading, but we're keeping them pretty basic. You know, our garden produces enough for our family. We have a little bit to give away. Um, I don't grow enough potatoes to last an entire year. I don't grow enough green beans to last an entire year. We get a lot, we get plenty for a while and it's enough to freeze or can or whatever, but I know my limits and I don't have time to manage a five acre garden. And so I don't. 
when it comes to our cattle and chickens, I've written about this before on the blog, but we keep our cattle operation, especially with our dairy cows, very simple. I calf share, so I'm not having to milk every single day if that doesn't work with our schedule. We feed mostly big round bales, even though I'm sitting on some small squares, these are just extras. But the bulk of our animals get fed the big round bales with a tractor, which we only have to put out about once a week, which saves a lot of time. We have automatic water in the corrals and in the garden. So we've done a lot of little things that reduce the amount of daily chores that we have to do because we have a lot of other things going on. And food, you guys. Okay, let me just say this once and for all. I love food. I grow a ton of food. I wrote a cookbook. I blog about food. But I am not a purist when it comes to from scratch cooking. And I don't beat myself up if we have store-bought tortilla chips one night with dinner, or sometimes I buy tortillas, sometimes I even buy bread. And I've just found over the years, you've got to give yourself a little bit of grace. And holding yourself to these unrealistic standards, which is what I used to do with myself, will drive a person absolutely crazy. So I guess my biggest advice for you, if you're looking at adding homesteading or home business or homeschooling or anything into your life, or maybe you're doing all that now and you're wondering how on earth you're gonna get it all done, is just to stay laser focused on your goals. And that's really all I've done the last 10 years in building what we have now, is I have set my sights on what we wanted and what we knew we were called to do. And I have stayed on that course no matter what, no matter the hardships or the distractions or the things I've had to say no to. You just have to know your goals and stick with them. I know that's not super glamorous and it's not the magic formula, but I'm not sure there is a magic formula to time management other than prioritizing the most important things in your life and doing whatever it takes to get those done on a daily basis. So there you have it guys. Our life is definitely not a fairy tale. It takes a lot of hard work, but it's really, really worth it. And I think pretty much anyone can follow in our footsteps with just a lot of grit and some determination. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you back here next week for another Homestead video. This is Mesa. She has been behind the camera helping me with the sound and the shots. So we're kind of working on our groove, aren't we? Figuring it out? Yeah, slowly but surely. And then over here we had Bridger hiding in the hay and a ridiculous number of barn cats, which I don't know you can see. There's a tail. And it does get tricky balancing it all. Oh, dozer. There's like slobber everywhere. <laughs>